uh, required genetic testing, but uh, Dr. Andrew DeLuca on Grey's Anatomy uh, from Italy. So the handsomeness of Italy and then the politeness of being Canadian. Right. It's perfect combo. for you. There you go. Uh, Giacomo uh, Gignotti. Yes. Yeah, I did it right. How's that? For that? That's yes, a hard one. You said one. it very well. Thank you very much. Um, I'm impressed. So you tell me. Big success in, in Toronto, but then you're like, and this is true of everybody from Canada, everybody from Australia. Yeah. Doesn't matter, I have to come here and do it. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I think you sort of, in your home country, you hit a sort of glass ceiling where you can't really go any more further, so you have to break out and come to America or come to another industry and, mm -hmm. and see if you can break into there and, and keep growing. And did you really U haul it from uh, Toronto? I did, yeah. I, uh, I moved out of my apartment, I, put, I sold a lot of stuff, and then put it, the rest of my belongings in a U haul trailer with some buddies, and we, we drove from, from Toronto to, to California. Did what you was know? It like, yeah, when you came into Hollywood yeah. and you saw the sign, and it was do you remember that moment? Yeah, it was it's beautiful. It's so different, you know, leaving, we literally left snow, uh -huh. like because it was winter, yeah. it was February. Uh, so to sort of slowly leave the snow and go into the sun was was amazing. Did you know you were going to make it, or did you? Because some actors say, you know what, I knew, and I came here, and, I, and it happened. Or did you say, you know, I'm going to give it a try and see? I worked it. a little bit in Los Angeles before, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I came out here for pilot season to try just to sort of introduce myself to right. to the states and. And then I ended up getting this job that uh, I'm very fortunate that has been a, a longer gig. Well, and he, hears, <laughs> he wasn't intentionally a longer gig, no, right? No, no. I started as a guest star, and uh, the writers kept bringing me back, and uh, they've given me some incredible material to work with, and the cast is really phenomenal on the mm. show. All right, we're not going to show the clip from tomorrow because it's a massive spoiler. Oh. We'll show an old clip in a second. But here's the, the okay, the entire mm. entertainment department, besides me and the guy at night, it's all mm. women. Okay. All right? mm. After McDreamy, after McSneamy, they want to call you Mick Sexy Panini. <laughs> that sounds delicious. That sounds a little right. Dr. Panini. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like that or not? It's hey, okay. I you don't can, know. You can turn it down. I think it's got to grow on me. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, like. All right. Here is a clip from Gray's past because we can't reveal the future. Watch. Right. You're avoiding me. What? No, I haven't. I've called. You haven't answered. It's just been a really busy day. Sure. In a marathon surgery that got canceled. What's really going on here? Okay, look, I'm very busy. I have many, many things on my plate. I just, I don't have time or patience to play childish guessing games. Do you want to be with me or not? Laid it What's out the there. The way yeah. Yeah. Lost for words. Yeah. <laughs> Lost for words. Uh, it, it's terrible know. when women corner you like that. Speaking of which, uh, the pediatrician, <laughs> Dr. Oldman, who's coming up, uh -huh. is all over you too. Yeah, absolutely. I just I just met her uh, back there. Right. Yeah. This uh, this Sunday, I'm actually competing, uh, not competing, participating in mm -hmm. a Tough Mudder. I don't know if you guys have ever heard I've of that. I've heard of that. It's obstacle course. Right. Um, <clears throat> in Santa Bernardino. And we're raising money for um, a non for profit organization that I work with called My Friend's Place, which are doing incredible things for the homeless youth here in Los Angeles. Okay. So I've gotten some of my Grey's Anatomy co-stars to run with me, Martin Henderson, Camilla Ludington, Joe okay. Adler, and Jason George. Uh, we're going to be out there uh, trudging through the mud uh, to raise money for this incredible organization. So I have a CrowdRise uh, page that we're going to have in a link somewhere. Um, <laughs> it's on my social media, on my Instagram, uh, crowdrise.com slash Grey's Anatomy, Tough Mudder for my friend's place. Um, and I hope that you guys can get involved and donate. We're hoping to close our, our donation gap so oh. we can get our goal. And uh, I urge you guys uh, to come great. out Sunday if you want to to San Bernardino and, and race with us or watch us. Uh, we'll all be there, and uh, there'll be a lot of fans there trying just yeah. hoping to scrape off the mud. There you uh, go. <laughs> we, I tell you what, we'll put that on our social media. Thank as well, you. So I give us all that, that. stuff. Uh, Grey's Anatomy new Thursday at eight on ABC. The Twitter uh, account uh, for a link uh, to donate to my friend's place. What's your Twitter? Um, at Giacomo KG. Okay, or mine. It's Sam on TV. So if you can find it, we'll hook you all up. Nice Thanks so much. You. Thank Giacomo, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Great to see you. Donate. Morning. Thank you. <laughs> all right, still ahead. LA is all about Kobe today. KTLA is the Night Romero Live.